Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Around the Association. Now, for over 30 years, Terrence Howard has been a prominent figure in Hollywood. Um, he's left an undeniable mark with his stellar performances in iconic films such as The Best Man, Crash, Hustle and Flow, Iron Man. I mean, you could, the list just goes on and on. And despite his immense contributions, Howard has recently been at the forefront of a heated debate about unfair compensation practices within Hollywood. In his latest episode on a podcast called Straight Talk with Daphne Finney, Howard revealed his ongoing battle against what he considers to be an unjust compensation practices. He alleged that he was unfairly compensated as a cast member of Fox's Empire and subsequently filed a lawsuit against his former agency, CAA, for allegedly lowballing him compared to his white contemporaries who signed highly lucrative TV deals. Take a listen here at what Terrence Howard had to say. Now, CAA. That's a lot of money that should have been. Well, let's, to, let's go to another one. I'm just saying. CAA, Creative Artists Agency, they represented me. Mm -hmm. They also represented some of the people from Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. They also did the deal with Fox. Mm -hmm. My show was with Fox, the people from Big Bang was with Fox. Mm -hmm. We had 28 million viewers. They had 11 million viewers. Yeah. They were getting $2 million, damn near $3 million an episode, those white kids that had no name recognition, no Oscar nominations, none of that. We have 28 million viewers, and these these jokers are paying me um, $325,000 an episode. And I'm like, every year, ask. every year I'm asking my agents, what's going on, what's going on? I didn't know that the packaging deal, my agents were incentivized to keep my pay low so they net so they'll go to fox and say no and they'll say no themselves because they were producers they owe me over 120 million dollars based on what would have been what paid have to made. white yeah. counterparts yeah. so now i'm in the process of suing them mm -hmm. about it and they when i asked them about it about my money they sent me a check for 666 dollars six wait 666 dollars to say wait six hundred and sixty six dollars exactly what? not saying where it's from so i was like oh you y'all trying to y'all trying to threaten me this Look, is a market this, piece, not this, this is a threat this is that's a threat right, right here and y'all wow. think y'all think i'm that's scared insulting. you think i'm gonna be quiet about this because i wonder what you're doing to every other black yeah. artist wow yo that's that's something else now the whole first is a couple of things I mean if we were at the same stage in our careers 325,000 an episode versus what he said was nearly 3 million dollars an episode some of the guys from Big Bang Theory was getting wow that's a discrepancy that, yeah, we, we're going to have problems. We're going to have some serious problems. And I'm going to court. I'm, I'm man, I'm, I'm trying to get, get my money back. So big ups to Terrence Howard for that. But then what actually stood out even more was the idea that he was sent a check <laughs> for $666. Need I say what the warning or the intention of that check being sent was? It's like, you might want to keep quiet because 666. whoa that's how they play ball that's how they play ball big shout out to him though he's still taking him to court 
um i'm actually gonna take a look and kind of follow this case as closely as i can because he's he's saying he's owed based on the ratings and the success of the show being a lead with that level of ratings he should have been compensated around 120 million dollars yeah i'm gonna follow it let me know what you guys think Uh, be sure to like and subscribe i'm gonna let you next time peace